how are you all? Welcome to my channel. I'm Victoria and I'm here to do a no contact or low contact tarot card reading for you. So today's reading is going to be a general tarot card reading and this tarot card reading is going to be one who if you haven't heard from your person for a very long time or if their messages are just here and there and not very long and um, without emotion in their messages. So if you want to know all of those things, then this reading is for you. Today we'll be working with three tarot card decks. We'll be reading with the Raider Waite Holographic Vintage, the Art of Tarot Deck, and the Modern Witch Tarot Deck. So we'll be doing reading one, reading two, and reading number three for you all. In a second, you will see a shot of the three cards so you can choose your deck for today, your deck for today's reading. And yeah, so before we do your reading, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that's subscribing to the channel right now. And yeah, I really appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so, so much. And everyone that's booking private tarot card readings with me as well. Thank you for trusting me with your situations. So yeah, I appreciate that as well. So if any of you would like to book a private tarot card reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below, how to book and all the links and everything. And my email address is there as well. So check that out if you'd like to book. Okay, please try to stay to the end of your tarot card readings because I will be doing oracle cards at the end and um, I will be using the pendulum today as well to see if your person is going to contact you and it'll either be a yes or a no. Okay, so for today's reading, it's no con no or low con no or low contact and will they contact you in the near future? Okay, let's get to your readings. And all the time scrumps that you need for each pile um, are in the description box underneath the video. So just click on the time stamps you need and then it'll go straight to your reading. So the next shot will be um, the three sets of cards. And what I'd like you to do is choose from your intuition. OK, and if you're attracted to a pile of cards, that's fine. If you're attracted to more than one, uh, two different ones read that one also if you are reading from more than one person choose a different deck of cards as well so you can separate the energies so i will give you a few quiet moments now to choose your pile of cards for your no low contact and will they contact you reading and let's see what's going on Hello there, welcome to your reading. For those of you who chose the, for reading number one, for those of you who chose this deck, the Holographic Raider Waite Vintage deck. So what we'll do now is we'll pull your tarot cards out for your no or low contact. Then we'll use, um, then we'll read your oracles and then we'll use the pendulum at the end to see if they are going to contact you anywhere in the near future. So stick around to the end of your reading for that and all the information that you need to know. And um, while I'm shuffling the cards for your reading today, anybody would like to book a private tarot card reading with me? All the links and how to book are in the description box below. My services, um, price list is all down there. So my email address is there too, so you can contact me there to book a reading. Readings look very much like this one, but I usually um, like you to see the cards when I'm doing a private reading, so it'll just be my hands and the cards. So let's shuffle the cards for your no or low contact reading, see what's going on. We have a card that just flew out. I don't know if you saw that then. I will pick it up. One second. It is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we'll put that on the desk. Okay, Ace of Swords. The Nine of Swords, right way up. 
the two of wands reversed. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups the right way up. And I'm going to choose one more card just to clarify everything. And the Three of Wands the right way up. Okay, let's just put your deck over there so we don't mix them up with the others. Okay, I'm feeling here that there is some stress and some blockage between you both. So... I'm almost getting the feeling that um, there has been some sleepless nights. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse to the Nine of Swords. So something about this connection is what's going on between you is keeping you or your person up at night. So there is some stresses here and some blockages with this um, Ace of Swords the right way around. So there has been some uh, blockages. Okay, when I'm seeing the Ace of Swords that's reversed, okay, this can actually mean that somebody has not told the whole truth to someone. It might be something you already know, something possibly you found out yourself and this person doesn't realise that you have found it out. Um, I do see a two of wands here. I think that plans... I think there was high expectations for this connection from the start. Um, but it looks like plans haven't, things haven't gone according to plan. Um, I'm sensing really strongly that your person may, may have promised you things that didn't materialize, okay? There may have been a few small lies as well that you caught your person out on. If we have a knife sword in reverse and I've just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> These cards want to go on the floor. So we have a nice of swords in reverse as well. So this person has, I think that they've not told you things on purpose. I'm feeling like the energies is, if they had told you what's going on, you might have ran away from them. That's what I'm feeling. It's like, they don't, I feel like they didn't want to tell you at the time. There may be a little dishonesty going on with your person as well. Okay. I'm feeling like what they say they are, they might not have been. And it's like they made all these promises to you at the beginning. Something about the connection feels like you may have found out things about them or you've been, okay, you've been staying up really late to find out things about them. So it's giving you a lot of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. This could be for you, you know, is what I'm feeling. It's like you've been... Dare I say you've been sort of checking out the social media or stalking them a little on social media. But I think it was to find out what's going on because it's like you may have caught them out on a lie or a bit of dishonesty or something like that is what I'm feeling here. Um, do you know what I'm really feeling as well? Your person may not know that you've sort of caught them out and you're keeping that in. I'm getting the energies of you keeping that little one to yourself for now. Um, I'm not sure what you're going to do with that. But yeah, we have a three of cups here. So it could be that somebody's partying too much, spending too much time with their friends or going out or getting drunk even. Um, yeah, so three of cups next to the three of wands. I feel like with your person, they're not totally focused on you right now. And I think that could be the cause of your stress and anxiety. Um, there may have been a few tears or for you here it's like they're not focusing their energies on you the way they should be they're focusing i'm feeling on other other people other things i think this is more of a friendship group it's like why are they focus so much on their friends and going out and maybe you've seen pictures of them on social media out with friends when i feel the energies of your suffering at home or and they seem to be okay. It's like, why are they happy? You know, those sort of energy. Why are they happy and you're not? Okay, what I'm seeing is you're the three of wands here. I'm wondering with some of you, if you are further apart in distance, because the three of wands often is a card of travel or waiting to travel. So it could be that they're just biding their time, to, you know, to get to you in some way. So it's like they're spending too much time talking to their friends or to other people. Their focus right now, for some reason, is not on you. Um, 
I think this they're not aware that you feel this way, but I think that you do. It's like, why, why should you feel this way when they seem to be okay? They seem to be having a laugh and going out and yeah, they're focusing too much on themselves and what they want and need right now. Um, I feel like it may have taken the eye off the ball a little bit. What I mean by that is they are not putting you as number one. And yeah, I think this is about them. It's almost like maybe they've been in the lockdown too long and they've got to get out there. They may have mentioned something about that. It's like the energies feel like they want to party. Okay. That's what I'm feeling really strongly. It's like, why, why are they causing you this anxiety and this stress when they seem to be smiling in photos? And I think that really, really gets on your nerves. It's caused you some anxiety and stress here. It's like what they've promised you possibly at the beginning of your connection they haven't delivered the goods it's like they're too focused on themselves and what they want a little bit selfish i'm feeling a lot of selfish energy going on where you put so much into the connection between you both and now it's like they're not doing what they should be doing or focused on you it's like they're just pleasing themselves and not seeing what's in front of them and what hurt they're causing actually as well so i'm going to get um one of the cards from the in the shadows deck here i'm sorry there may be apologies coming here you may have told them something um i think this i'm sorry was hard for them to say i think you've got a character here where they may be quite carefree and hide or run away from confrontation so i feel really strongly this this i'm sorry that you're that you're going to get or you've already had is very hard for them <laughs> it's like i'm even struggling bringing it out it's like it's, they they find it hard to apologize is what i'm feeling really strongly so to get that from them might be incoming is going to be like a miracle in itself it's like wow might get a bit of a shock here that they're going to apologize for their behavior this could be a reading of low contact actually what i'm meaning by that is the messages are not they're not loving. They're not, you know, like they should be within a connection. It could be more low contact. I know I was a distraction from your pain. If that makes any sense to you. Let's get another one here from the... Oh, it fell out there. Okay. I want to tell you how i feel coming from the hidden truth oracle deck as always with oracle cards just take what resonates you know i always say that about the oracles i love them but take what resonates with you i'm gonna get a card from the island time wellness deck Let's seeing if i can pick up any other spirit messages for you We've got the card of paradise. Okay. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. You may get an apology from this guy or from this person. You may get an apology. I think apologies are coming for you. Heart with a key. Welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect so it looks like things are going to work out with this pile i'm going to do the pendulum and see what happens so if your person is no or low contact what we'll do with the pendulum is um a no is side to side and a yes is round and round so you're going to see if this person's if the, if you're in no contact whether they'll contact you or if you're in low contact and the messages whether their messages are going to improve so the answer would be yes or no okay it looks like from the cards it'll be a yes but let's have a look let's ask the pendulum 
Okay, hello pendulum. Uh, Spirit, please could you tell us if this person's contact is person going to contact them or if, if it's in low contact, will it improve, please? So side to side is a no and around and around is a yes because I've already charged a pendulum before I press record today. So let's just wait and see. I'm trying to keep it as long as I can. Seems to be going side to side. Uh oh. Okay. So the pendulum is going side to side, which is a no. I have to say it as it is, it's not seems to be changing either. So it's a no. So it could be. It might take some time for them to contact you because the energies the pendulum picks up energies that's in the atmosphere right now so maybe they're not seeing the error of their ways just yet that's what i'm thinking um yeah so they might need it pointing out it's like they might need you to say something to them you know if their contact is low and they're focusing not on you then possibly they don't even realize that you feel this way this is what i've said before through the reading they might not know that they're causing this much pain towards you perhaps you have to say something for the pendulum to swing yes so yeah i almost feel like to, i really feel strongly to get that out of them is like a miracle i feel like that might come through eventually um but i feel like you could be dealing with someone who's got a bit of an ego here as well it's like they don't think they've done anything wrong um but yeah so possibly you have to point it out to turn that pendulum to a yes. So at the minute, I feel like contact might not be so forthcoming. Or if you're in low contact, they might not change their behavior for a little while. So be aware of that. Okay, lovelies, that's a reading I've seen for those of you who chose reading number one today. Um, yeah, if you liked that reading or it resonated with you, drop a comment, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, check out the other playlists videos on my playlist and um, there's quite a few titles there now that um are relevant when you click on them they're all timeless so okay thank you so much i should see you all really soon with another pick a card reading and look after yourselves and take care bye bye for now bye bye hello lovely words welcome back and here's your reading for those of you who chose this tarot deck the art of tarot deck reading number two Okay, let's shuffle the tarot cards and see what's going on for you today. Please try to stay to the end of your tarot card reading because I get spirit messages throughout that might be relevant for you or your person or your situation. I'll be doing the oracle cards at the end and I will be using the pendulum to see if your person is going to contact you in the near future. Remember with the pendulum, these are energies that I can pick up and that are in the atmosphere uh, right now. So we'll see what it says. So stick around for that. But first, let's get your tarot cards. See why there's no contact or low contact. Let's see what's going on. While I'm shuffling, if any of you'd like to, if you come here from through the timestamps, if any of you'd like to book a private tarot card reading, all the information you need is in the description box below and all the links that you need as well. Please check out the services and price list before you book. Thank you so much. So yeah, if you like one of those, check it out. Let's have a look what's going on with your no low contact. We already have a four of cups right way up. See what spare messages I can pick up right now. The Eight of Cups. The Fool in Reverse. The Queen of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. death card have one more please and justice hmm okay let's 
Okay. This could be a situation where I'm looking at the spread as it's laid out on my table here. And for, at first, as I was reading, now I don't know if this is relevant, I felt like, ooh, there's going to be some contact here. But then I thought to myself, as it's going on, I'm sort of feeling that you could be could have been in no contact for a while of some way or messages or it's like you get messages that are not one minute they message one minute they don't one minute they message one minute they don't when i'm looking at the spread i'm sensing like you could be in no contact and you've waited for them long enough i just can see this queen of wands energy coming out this feisty um you know, doing something about a situation person, okay? Next, this Knight of Pentacles, it seems to be coming back towards the, the Knight of Wands, but I'm sensing that you may have, this situation for you with them may have been going on for quite a while, okay? Um, the Four of Cups, I feel like you've done something about, I really feel like you've done something about it. It's like you may have had enough of them and moved forward and done it, yourself it's almost like you've moved on from there i was gonna say stupidity i feel like the word stupid has been has um been used there some from some of you yeah um i think for quite a long time you waited for them quite a long time and it's like there was either no contact from them or not enough for your not enough for what you want so i think you've done something about it and you may have moved on yourself already or some of you haven't moved on, you're thinking about doing so. Because if I'm feeling if they're going to do this, if they're going to keep the no contact or low contact momentum going, that's really, really not what you want. And I don't think it's what you deserve. It's like, I think you realise that you deserve more, or you deserve better. But I can tell you now, <laughs> I can feel that your person is going to make some kind of contact. Just by the way, the Knight of Pentacles... is going to um is facing towards the rest of the cards here death card is there which shows that somebody's moved on and when i saw the justice come out after the death card like this it's like um the energies of you know too late you know you should have done something about it then it's almost when i saw the justice card it's like good i'm hoping they hope they do contact me because i'm going to tell them i've moved on it's like you need it's like you want to tell them a thing or two. I think it's sort of you're dying to say. I think you may have moved on. And this person, when they're ready, is going to make a return. But it'll be too late by then. That's what I'm feeling. It'll be... I mean... Ooh, okay, the spirit message I just got then is what makes them think that they can make a return. It's like, what you know, how rude. The, those sort of energies. And then it's like... Um, how dare they come back and return and message me again and tell me possibly that they still have feelings. I think they do these things for themselves, but I, I just, I, you can be sure that these people are going to contact you again at some point. It might not be in the near future, okay? It could be a bit further on because these pentacles, they move slowly in tarot, okay? You bet your bottom dollar that this person's going to contact you again at some point. Um, but I... I think some of you have just had enough of their behaviour. You can't cope anymore. You can't cope with their their um, up and down energy. I'm feeling very much they were hit and miss. And I think you held on for far too long. And this Queen of Wands in the middle of the, of the spread here, it's like, you know, I'm done with that. I'm done with their behaviour. I mean, you may have moved on to somebody else yourself already. You may not have done, but either way, you have to do what's best for you with this person. But I bet you any money they're going to come make a return when you least expect it. Um, I just know it with that. I could just keep looking down at that, those two on the deck. It's like, there's your Queen of Wands or Feisty and on her throne. And there's this Knight of Pentacles making this gift, but it's too late. Or it will be like, you know... No apologies is going to be enough this time. This is what I'm feeling. Remember, these are general readings, so not all of this is going to resonate with absolutely everyone. But I know there's going to be a return at some point. I just know it. Or maybe this has already happened for you. 
So in my, you know, I'm feeling really strongly. They don't even know it. It's like, it's like they're going to turn around one day and you're not going to be there anymore. Um, or all of a sudden they're going to realize that you've not messaged them today or you haven't messaged them this week and they go, where's the message? And then they're going to come chasing after you. But it, they might be a little slow in doing so or not, or a little slow in realizing it because these pentacles are the slowest movers in the deck. Reliable, but slow, even if you are a knight. But what is the queen to a knight? I mean, the queen is higher than a knight. I mean, he's sitting on the horse. She's on her throne. Yeah. So eventually it's like they might have to learn a hard lesson from you, perhaps. Whoa. Oh, they keep falling on the floor this day. Remember with the oracles, just take what resonates. These could be for you or your person. I've been struggling. I focused on you instead of my pain. And then we'll have one from, that was from the in, in the Shadows deck. And then we'll have one from the Hidden Truth deck. I've just dropped the entire, I'm sorry about that. I dropped the entire deck on the floor, so I just picked it up. Okay, let's carry on with you reading the Hidden Truth Oracle. Why do I have never done that before doing a recording? The odd card flies out for me, but not the whole deck. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I'm afraid to contact you. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I'm afraid to contact you. Is that why I dropped the deck? Hmm. Let's get a card from the Island of Time Wellness. Let's hope I don't actually... Drop this deck. Every time I use tarot, I always listen to see if I can tune in. I always do it to see if anything else that spirit wants you to know. Wants me to, I can hear. Seems to have gone quiet. The chaser. The chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Remember, this could be relevant. The oracles could be relevant for you or your person. Um, I'm wondering if you hung on to them too long because you didn't want them to go. So, okay. Now we'll do the pendulum with the pendulum today. Side to side, I've already charged it. So side to side is a no and round and round is a yes today. So we will see if this person is going to contact you again. The tarot card is saying they, they are, but let's see if the pendulum matches. Um, so side to side is a no and round and round is a yes or will their contact improve? So will this person contact them soon or nearby or what energies you pick up please wait for it to go round and round one sec or side to side It's going round and round. Let's give it a few more seconds. Okay. We've got round and round. So, yeah, they will contact you eventually. Um, I knew that. Sort of matched the tarot reading, didn't it? There we go. It's going round and round. Okay. So, they will contact you eventually. But um, do you want to hear from them? It's up to you. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for listening to reading number two today. It's been a pleasure to read for you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think of doing so. I do upload regularly throughout the week. Um, yeah, so drop a comment, give it a thumbs up to any YouTuber you like. It really helps 
push the video forward and that's what I need right now. So thank you so much. Yeah, so thanks for listening. It's been a pleasure and I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Hello, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who have chosen the Witch's Tarot today, this will be reading number three for you all. So let's get these tarot cards shuffling. And while I do that, please try to stay to the end of your tarot card reading because I will be doing oracle cards at the end. Plus, I'll be doing a pendulum on whether this person is going to reach out or not. Okay. And what the pendulum picks up is the energies that are around right well, in the atmosphere right now. See what it says but first of all we'll be doing your tarot cards so while i'm shuffling your cards for today just a quick word to anybody who would like to book a private tarot card reading with me the readings are recorded so you can watch them in your own time um yeah and all the links price list everything you need to book is in the description box below so you check that out so let's have a look why no or low contact what's going on and will they reach out? Let me drop the cards again. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Mm. Seven of Cups in Reverse, Two of Pentacles, the Emperor is reversed, one more please I think for Emperor, Strength card in Reverse. Who's a little workaholic then? This person, okay, they may just be working really hard okay I they may be struggling with their finances finances okay so there may be some stress around money I feel like they're trying to I think they're more I think they're workaholics is what I'm feeling it's like they've taken their eye off the ball which means they're working on something. It's either they're at work or they're working on something, trying to better themselves and to try and better your connection. Um, we have a Knight of Cups and an Ace of Cups here, which is fantastic. I do feel like with the Seven of Swords in reverse, they're going to make it up to you at some point. They're going to make amends here. So they have, again, not been focused on you. They could be focused on their work, you know. Um yeah, the Eight of Pentacles came out first like that. It's a card of being a bit of a workaholic. It might just be overdoing it here. They're not focused on you entirely. Are they saving for something they need? They might be worrying about money. They might be in a little debt or something here. Um, have you told them that you work too hard, you're a bit of a workaholic, or you're always tired, or so something like that is what I'm feeling. Um, I sense really strongly as well that a lot of you have told them to, to, to not work so much. They're always tired when you talk to them or too tired to message you. And, you know, they're taking their eye on the, off the connection a little bit. Um, the strength card in reverse comes out often when somebody is frightened or, or they can self-sabotage this stuff, you know. It's like if they're not, if they're going to just focus on work and... Do you know what I can see? I can see... Um, Oh, I saw an actual treasure chest then where it opened, you know, like an old pirate treasure chest with all the jewels and everything. It's like they're trying so hard to, to make life like these influencers on Instagram that they've taken their eye off the ball. It's like they're not focused on what's real, you know, what's really there and who cares about them. And yeah, it could be a bit of workaholic. You may have told them, you know, the Empress reversed. It's like they haven't seen possibly they're just burnt out. And I think they may have got angry if you've said, you know, stop working so hard. It's like, yes, I'm going to work hard. I can almost see like busy bee going, you know, going from plant to plant to plant. It's like you're not going to be able to stop them so easily here. It's it's like the, a determination to have what they want. 
Um, I think this is about money and stuff. But I feel like this person still has love for you and feelings for you. Um, okay, I'm going to be brutally honest. The Ace of Cups is actually marriage, even a new baby. So that might be relevant here. It's like you might be thinking of a future and they might be thinking of a future with you. Okay, Mr. Prince Charming here. This person's got feelings for you. All right. But they just need to, as I say, give the head a wobble. The Seven of Cups is reversed like that. So their senses, they need their what's important to them restored. It's like there's love here. This is what I'm feeling. Um, this could be a proposal of marriage. These two together like that. It's like they're working possibly for a future. But, you know, if they're not going to be around, what future is there going to be? Because I think it's getting on your nerves. They will make it up to you. I can tell you that now. But it's like they're not seeing this. Because this is what's important. Not work, not money. Okay, you need money to live. But there may be a bit of debt. Or they're trying to build a future for themselves. For possibly you two as well. There could be a marriage on the cards. They're, they're, this person's thinking of a future. Yes. They might be thinking of having children. You, you know, this is what this is coming out with. This is lovely, actually. This, this, These two together. But there's problems here where they're taking the eye off the ball. They need, they're frightened. They seem frightened of something. And I'm almost feeling like they're on fire. That's what I'm feeling. It's like you're not going to be able to stop them so easily here. Um, they will make it up to you. And I think they're trying to build something here. I'm trying to pick up it's like they're building an empire but i just think that they're working so hard they're taking their eye off romance and not focusing on you and a romantic thing and that's what i'm feeling it's like they're trying to build an empire what is that that went on the floor then these cards sliding on my hand <gasps> that went on the floor i fantasize about you <laughs> i told you they haven't forgotten about you i knew it about you hmm. I knew it you're so easy to see through that might not be as menacing as it sounds it could be that um, you remember the oracles can be for your person or you take what resonates I think you know you know them pretty well I think you know what they're doing who they are and you know who you know them pretty well this is what I'm feeling it's like you can sort of read them. Maybe this reading is a bit of a confirmation for some of you. It's like maybe you thought they were doing something else and this is what it's like, is that what they're doing now? Wow. I will wait for a sign from you from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. <laughs> we will be together again. Sometimes the oracles don't let you down, do they? So, yeah, I'm feeling like um, for some of you, you might have thought, is that what they did? Feeling really strongly that you thought they were up to something else and they're not. I think they're working on it here, but they're working so hard and you can't tell them. That's what I'm feeling with that Emperor verse. They don't want to know. They will. They'll make it up to you. I don't know whose dog that is. But they're coming past the house. So, no idea. I haven't got dogs. I've got two cats. So, okay, this might resonate with some of you. It's, um, go with snake, empath, narcissist. Per Do you know, I can never say that word. <laughs> Being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. I'm feeling more boundaries than anything. I don't know if that resonates with any of you, but that's what I've pulled out. Did you think somebody else was involved? I don't think there's betrayal here, if that's what you thought. I feel like I just confirmed something for you. It's like, did you click, did you click on pile three because you thought something else was going on? I can feel that really strongly. It's like, oh, is that what they're doing? And the snake. 
competition, enemy, clever, malicious look, over the shoulder, and the other woman. Did you think there was someone else involved? Well, there isn't. I got the feeling that possibly some of you may have thought that they, because their contact was either very little or sometimes all day they would te not text you or I bet you thought, some of you thought was something else going on. No, I feel like your person's just trying to work on things and build a little empire. So they're still romantically there. Let's get this pendulum reading done for you. So side to side is they're going to contact you. Sorry, side to side is they're not going to contact you. Nothing's going to change in the near future. Um, this is the energies that I can only pick up um, what's going on in the atmosphere right now with the pendulum, okay? It's what the universe wants you to know at the minute. So, um, let's see. So, side to side is a no. So, that means things won't change for now. And round and round is a yes. It means things are going to, there's going to be better contact or more communication, I feel. So, let's keep the pendulum still for a second. Okay, thank you, Pendulum. Please, could you give us an answer to whether this person's going to improve contact or if they're going to contact? Just give it a second to move. It's on the move. I made sure any windows were shut before I started the reading. That's why I'm boiling hot. Okay, we have a circle. It's small at the minute, but it looks like it's getting larger. So that would be a yes. It's going in a circle. Can you see that, everyone? Yes. So it's getting bigger. So yeah, it's a yes. So things, contact will improve with your person. Um, might start off slowly though before it gets a bit better so yes thank you so much for listening to reading number three today and if you enjoyed that or it resonated with you give it a thumbs up put a comment in the box i do this comment box i do read them if you haven't subscribed yet please think of doing so that'd be really nice of you and if um turn on the notification bell and then you'll be notified when i upload my videos and yeah, I upload several times a week if you are new here. So um, thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure. Um, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.